Hello everyone, uh, today we will discuss the programmatic advertising question series part 5 and we will discuss questions related to in-app viewability partners, then analytics, then what is the difference between uh, like such in-app in viewability partners and uh, uh, what are the reasons for low CTR and questions like that. So start with the first question. What is the difference between affinity and in-market audiences? So affinity audiences, so this type of audiences targeting uh, like it includes targeting method which helps you reach out to potential customers to build awareness about your brand. Here the ads are contextually relevant for the audience. You should we view uh, affinity audience as individuals who have a general long standing interest aligned with a specific affinity segment. This targeting option takes more of a long term view of audience creation rather than looking at one particular purchase intent like in market affinity targeting analyzes someone's overall interests, passions and lifestyle to get a better sense of their overall identity. What is the difference between affinity and in-market audiences? So in-market audiences, in-market audiences reach out to potential customers who are actively researching or looking to buy products and services. It helps you target potential customers who are more likely to make a conversion. For example, your business is an electronics brand dealing with laptops. Then in-market audience allow you to a target audience which is actively researching or looking to buy laptops only. What is targeting expansion? So targeting expansion is a feature of Google Ads that tries to resemble the similar audience feature from Facebook. So Google Ads uses a pay-per-click pricing model for online advertisers to display brief advertisements, service offerings, product listings and videos in such kind of targeting expansions. What is mobile app viewability partner? What is open measurement? So mobile app viewability is, is so mobile app viewability partner the publisher and advertiser can measure the viewability with ad measure and the open measurement SDK. So uh, about open measurement, open measurement provides secure cross publisher mobile app viewability measurement for supported third party viewability partners. Based on an industry standard app developers can allow viewability measurement by any supported vendor with just one SDK integration. Once integrated publishers can assign a viewability partner to an ad manager line item. List of viewability vendors supported under good Google Ad Manager are Adform, AdLooks, AppNexus, Bullbit, Comscore, Double Verify, Forensic, Integral Ad Science, Metrix, Moat, Pixelate, Protected Media, Timo, WhiteOps. Which SDKs support integration with open measurement? The following SDKs support integration with open measurement like Google Mobile Ads, GMA SDK, iOS and Android, and Interactive Media Ads, IMA SDK, iOS and Android. What do you need to add a viewability partner? So you should obtain the following from each provider that you wish to add to your Google Ad Manager network. Additional settings like contact information for the vendor are optional. So vendor key usually has the format or domain use case. For example, mode.com or made, interglats.com or made, doubleverify.com made. And then script URL that hosts the verification script for the vendor. URL parameters, the parameters that should be passed to the downloaded verification script. These are the same as the verification parameters in the VASP 4.1 spec. Rejection tracker URL, the URL that should be pinged if the verification script can't be run. What are true view skippable video ads? So true view skippable videos are major source of demand for app video interstitial ads. They benefit users as they can skip videos after 5 seconds. They are also great for advertisers who only pay if the video runs to the end of 30 seconds. So here the user as well as the advertisers are in benefit. Features and user moat as a viewable partner. So you can use moat analytics to help understand the environment in which advertisements are being served and to analyze the effectiveness of that. We focus on few key areas. Verification, valid, is the ad shown to a real person? Viewability, how much of the ad is in view? How for long? Brand safety, is the ad shown in a contextual environment perceived as safe for the brand? And attention, how is the ad seen and interacted with and by home? So generally the viewability partners uh, like uh, check the validity of the ad, the viewability of the ad and the brand safety because brand safety is something which uh, no advertiser or the no publisher would like to uh, compromise with because it affects the reputation of their brand if they are showing any ad which is 
in non-compliance with the uh, standard ad policies. Features and uses of mode as viewability partner. Mode can be uh, used to monitor and measure advertising for placements in desktop web environment, mobile web and app environment, video environment including uh, full episode players and connected CTV. Users of mode analytics. So mode analytics helps to verify that the ads are shown as intended on a screen to a real person on brand suitable websites and desired device types. Measure attention such as how many people see an ad, how much of the ad is seen for what period of time and ways in which one can interact with the ad. Analyze the effectiveness of it including comparisons with industry benchmarks. Detect and avoid placements found to involve uh, fraudulent or invalid traffic whether considered general or sophisticated as defined by the industry but such as the IAB and MRC. Ensure advertisements appear only in so-called brand safe or brand suitable environment enabling advertisers to block bidding on advertising impressions and avoid serving ads into locations that may be fraudulent or inappropriate. Optimize advertising with viewable fraud free and effective placements. How Mode Analytics works So Mode uses a combination of pixels, javascript and browser signals to count ad impressions, detect, measure and filter invalid traffic measure attention and determine the context of the environment in which an ad is placed. Mode detects, analyzes and filters impressions and handles data according to MRC guidelines. How Mode Analytics works? Mode is accredited by the MRC for display and video ad viewability metrics and sophisticated invalid traffic detection and filtration for desktop mobile web mobile in-app impressions and for video ad impressions within connected TV and over the top environment. More than 50 metrics have been included in MRC accreditation. Mode Analytics activates its measurements through display ad tags, VPAD tags for video, VAST tags for CTV and direct integrations with many popular platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and LinkedIn. What are the reasons for low CTR? A low CTR could indicate that you are targeting the wrong audience, that you are not speaking their language persuasively enough to convince them to click. The creative design and the user attention on the creative also is a major factor in determining the CTR. The location of the ads in which low CTR is coming is also an important factor. While above the fold as have good visibility and CTR and below the fold have not good visibility hence it has low CTR. So that's all for today. Have a good day and keep learning and keep implementing new things and programmatic advertising. I'll keep continuing with the programmatic advertising question series and many other series related to programmatic advertising will come in future. So all the best and have a good day.